Hello again. This is my third entry on the 20th of August. It is about 11.50. In this video, I hope to go over the group that I hope to form in my fight against evil. Now, let me go into a, yeah, a very sparse outline. I, I don't have too much to say at the moment because very much of it is still up in the air. But here's what I have so far in my plans. The name of the group I have to form will be called the Crucifers. Now, Crucifer comes from Latin, Cruciferax, which pretty much means crosshair. So these will be the, the cross bearers of our Lord in very much a similar way as how in a procession in Detroit in the Mass we have altar servants typically before the priest, but the very first one will be holding the cross. This is actually where the coup to Ferox comes from. Pardon me, here. But anyways. The crucifers will act very much as cross bearers leading the church into what I would call a new era. Now I know I know that the church does not the church says that we should not believe in heaven on earth. As the communists believed in a, a social utopia, that is just, I agree with the church, it's just impossible for us to have a perfect society on earth. However, I do believe that if we try hard enough, and if people dedicate their lives enough, doing what God has called them to do, and acting in holiness, putting what they want below what God wants, or better yet, making their will God's will, and God's will their will, then I believe that we will have an era in which the most people possible can be joined or be joined to the church and consequently have the best chances of reaching eternal life. So that's that's the overall objective of the crucifers, cross bears, to, to set up that, uh, <laughs> that Utopia. I can't think of any other word. Uh, we'll just call it a utopia for the time. So the cross bearers, the crucifers, their objective is to bring about that new utopia. Now, how is that going to happen? In my studies here at Christendom, it would have been spring semester, sophomore year. We went through the social teachings of the church, and. Well, I, I searched and searched for this one encyclical. I just can't find it in my, in my documents. One pope said that there is a, an analogy between a man and a wife towards the uh, relationship between the state and the church. So the state acts very much like the husband. Now, a proper husband is the protector and the provider of his children and his wife. While the church acts as the mother and what? Mother and mother. And when these two work together, then you have that utopia quote unquote, where people will be best in the best situation to reach eternal paradise. And also there will be what you can actually call justice on the earth. If the state and the church work together, then all of these evils we have in our age and these threats, the, uh, the constant and growing threat of sexualism, the abortion industry, homosexuality, and sin, of course, was the wall, this plain sin itself, then 
this year, the Dustin Church, in cooperation, will have a safeguard against Satan, a barrier against his attacks upon humanity. Now, how is this going to come about? It's going to be difficult. It's going to be a fight. I believe that in my lifetime, it will probably move into warfare. Not spiritual warfare, but actually probably end up with guns. The time of the sword. Now, I'm not the only one who believes this. There are others out there who, who say, just look at the times, look at the past. Now, I'm a history major. I can look at the past as well. Too often has the United States been an analogy. What do you call that? It's in a similar situation as the late Roman Empire, moments before its collapse. Also, I can see that while we're making steps forwards in certain areas, such as the uh, pro-life movement, the abortion clinics are in decline. 42, I believe, have closed this year. Astounding number, but the number is still high abortion numbers. I said in my first video, 1.2 million per year in the United States alone. Then we also have political powers on the rise. We have communist China. We have Iran and the uh, Middle East. We have Europe rapidly moving into a state of decadence. For example, Hollande is now uh, leader of France, a blatant socialist. And we have the Queen of England just recently openly accepting homosexuality into England, who might as well kiss that country goodbye. So, very much we are in a moment of crisis. And what needs to be done is we need to have solid, truly Catholic figures, particularly men out there acting in defense of the church and the paradigms of what is right. It's the crucifix. Because while the church, the priests, can act as figures of, of virtue, it's not the priest's job, it's not the church's job, to work in the state. They're, the church's job, as we saw in our analogy of, of um, mother and father, is a mother figure, maternal. They work for the flock, the Catholic Church, and then evangelize outside. But the state is the one that controls the circumstances of the world. So we need this political, but very Catholic political organization, the Crucifers. Now, what is the Crucifers going to do at the moment? Nothing. Why? Because I am not. As I said in my um, entry number three, I have virtually nothing to my name. I'm a nobody. And, uh, I might as well tell you, if I was put into a command of any organization at the moment, I would believe myself unworthy. I have very little knowledge, training, or experience in leadership. And in pretty much everything. The closest I ever came to would be the co-directorship of that body. So at the time being, I have to act as a, a uh, as the best Catholic that I can. I have to act as close to the saint as I possibly can, which of course is what I want to do. I want to do God's work before all things. But not until I conform my life perfectly to what God wants can the crucifers come into being. And if God's will for these cost bearers is to be bring about this new era, then this new era cannot come to be until I take that first step forward. So there you have it. My current thoughts on my cross bearers. Crucifers. To, up to now, I suppose I'm the only crucifer out there. The bent cross.
Well, that's the end of this.